Hello everybody and welcome to George and More Day with EYFS Home. So I'm really excited about our first activity. So in the story we've got George and we've got Maud who are with us now and I am going to show you how to make a really simple puppet of George. So on the website you'll be able to download a picture of a parrot and then all you're going to need is if you've got anything like lollipop sticks to make the bit that you can hold on to for your puppet or if you don't have anything like that you could use some card and you could just roll it up as well. Then you're going to need some felt tip pens and you're going to need some scissors and some sellotape tape too. So first of all I've just chosen the colours um, that are on George so I've started to colour him in green and then you can choose your favourite colours children make your parrot as beautiful and bright as you like. So I'm going to choose the next one I'm going to go for red here and I'm going to colour him in. So whilst you're colouring in your puppet of George, you could talk with your grown-up about the story and what you liked about George. Can you remember what his character was like? He was really clever, wasn't he? <laughs> I love the way that George mimics different people in the story and the sounds as well. Do you remember he did the doorbell sound and so the burglar thought that the doorbell was actually ringing. And it startled more, didn't it? It made her wake up. Then I loved the way George also mimicked the local policeman so he could sound just like him. <laughs> so I wonder, children, are you good at making different sounds and sounding like other people? Can you do that yourself? Just like George in the story. Then I think, oh, we haven't got any yellow, have we? So I think we might have a bit of yellow on here, like this. So have lots of fun colouring in your puppet. And then when I'm finished colouring in all of George, I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, children, so I have coloured in all of my parrot, apart from one thing. Can you see what I've missed? That's it, the beak. So I'm just going to finish that off. So we'll colour his beak in yellow, just like George here. And then I'm going to show you how we can make this picture into a puppet. And then you can recreate your own story of George and Maud. Maybe you could do what happens next, the adventures of George and Maud. So then you just need your scissors. So you probably need your grown-up to help you. And then we're just going to cut round the outline and cut all of this out We're done. Let's do his back. And his perch. And then his tail feathers. And what I love about parrots is how beautiful and bright they are. There you go. Look at that. There's our parrot George. So now we need to make him into a puppet. So what could we use just to hold him up? I'm going to put this paper over here and then some space. So I'm going to choose, oh, just I think maybe two or three of these lollipop sticks. I could use different colours as well. And then all you need to do is just stick them together to make like one big long stick like this. I think I'm going to use purple and orange and I'm going to get my sellotape, <coughs> my scissors and then I'm just going to cut a little bit of sellotape off and then just find your end as well so it's nice and easy to use it again and then I'm just going to wrap these two round here like that and then 
that will hold those two sticks together with some cellar tape. It just makes it longer so we can stick it to the back. But I still think we need maybe one more so he goes right up to his head. Otherwise he's find he might be a bit floppy. And then I'm just going to cut another little bit of cellar tape. And then we can stick that onto George. Okay. And then we'll use <clears throat> the orange stick and we'll just, you might need your grown-up to help you with that so one of you holds it and the other one can just loop that sellotape round nice and easy. And then we just need one more piece of sellotape so we can stick all of it together. So we're just going to stick that on the back there. So we need another couple of pieces. One and then just make sure I've got the end of my cellar tape there so I can get another piece <laughs> and stick that down and then get my next piece. Oops, stick that one in there. Might need one more piece. Oh, I think there's one here actually. I'm going to go long ways, I think, to make sure that it stays all the way down there. And then we should have our very own parrot puppet. Look at that. And then you can recreate your story of George and Maud. So children, have a wonderful time making your very own parrot puppet and bringing him to life.